job. I work full time as a photographer and I mostly do family events and weddings, happy occasions. So my approach to the protests uh, going out and taking pictures uh, was slightly different. I didn't take my usual camera, I didn't take a bunch of lenses. It was just one camera and one lens and I, I tried to take the smallest camera possible so I wouldn't be noticed. I didn't want any attention and I didn't want to bother anybody on the street. I really, didn't, I really don't like confrontation. Somebody was asking earlier why we don't go to other protests. Well, it's, it's a little scary going to protests. Mm -hmm. And I had really admired the courage of the friends that go and stand up for justice. So I wanted to start with a, a quote that when I saw the protests and the, and the people getting together, uh, fighting for fairness and justice, it, it really struck a chord with other than just being an event. So the quote is, the light of men is justice. The light of men is justice. Quench it not with the winds of oppression and tyranny. The purpose of justice is the appearance of unity among men. So I looked at the unity that the protest had and the diversity it had. Um, for the first one, it was just, I didn't really want to show up faces um, because as we would have seen in some of the, the Facebook posts, uh, every time you pointed the camera, everybody was smiling, they were happy to be there, happy to, to show their face and, and for me, I wanted to get away from the wedding type, smile for the camera, it's a fun event kind of thing. So this one, it was interesting for me for the, for the workers standing together and I know uh, pulling together and then showing support to each other, an accompaniment, you can say. While on the other hand, fighting for justice and fairness can feel quite lonely sometimes. You might be the only one that decides to stand up for something. And so that's why I took this photograph. I mean, I know this individual, you know, the person has a family, has a business, they could be targeted, they could be uh, victimized, but it takes a little bit of courage, well, not a little bit, quite a lot of courage to stand up, and it could be quite lonely at times. So that's what interested me in this photograph. This was the other side. So you could have a lot of support and accompaniment and encouragement from all the friends that, that are there. And some of the photographs are, are not really, it's just my, what I thought was interesting too. I mean, it was diversity of people, and I'll keep saying that over and over again. So even the cyclists were supporting, um, never mind you know, whether you were driving or not, it, it really spoke to a lot of people. Again, it's the variety of people that came out. The three gentlemen in the, in the middle, uh, gave me the impression they were laid back and, and you know, not in the forefront but sort of interested to take part but just again laid back and just casual about it. This one is one of my favorites. For me it represented the diversity of, of Guyana. Um, you have a businessman, you have a lawyer, um, ad, ad consultant, an engineer, uh, ecologist, a journalist, a photographer, and yeah, it's, 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 it's something that spoke to me that really showed that it, if we as a country can come together, you know, never mind our differences or where we come from, we can all stand for something.